tablet PC input panel is software that allows you to write on your screen with a pen. It's actually to be more techy, it's called a stylus. It actually looks like a pen, but you can go ahead and just write on your screen. It picks up the signature movements of your hand or the stylus that looks like a pen. And again, it's called a stylus. And it converts it into font like Arial Times New Roman. I mean, you pick it. But in order to do that, we've got the software here that we can install or we can bring up. But I don't have a monitor that allows me to write on it, unless I'm using a tablet PC. But since technology is ever changing, uh, they're starting to come out with uh, desktop monitors that allows you to actually write on that and convert that to text. So in any case, if you do have a monitor that has the technology to for you to write on the screen, you just need the software to read what you're writing. For example, I want to bring up the. Uh, toolbar tablet PC input panel to do so I want to come down here on the taskbar anywhere on the taskbar give it a right click come up here to toolbars and then go over and down and there it is go ahead and left click on tablet PC input panel it brings it up over here this little button that when I click on it it brings up my little screen here and all I have to do is take my pen and just start writing on my screen well my monitor my screen doesn't allow this so instead how about if I just show you how to do it with the mouse and let's pretend see if I move my mouse onto the screen here you see that little black dot well if I had my pen my stylus I could start writing here text here and there's an L and when I let go you see it's a lowercase L that's kinda cool how about if I do H it converts it to EH and hi and then what's really cool is if I had Microsoft Word open in the background and clicked on the insert button it would take I hi insert it right into Microsoft Word document. So what's the purpose of this? Well, usually you want a tablet PC that you can actually take in to meetings with you and just use that little pen and write on your screen if you're really good at writing fast. And then when the lecture's done or somewhere during the lecture, you, you can quickly click insert and then just keep writing insert, write, insert, and insert this text as you're writing along into a cleaner text or font that you can later copy and paste or edit or change the size instead of your uh, chicken scratch here. Now it's extinguisher because it can't separate everything that I did. I, in fact, I didn't put a space here, and now it thinks it's stricken. In any case, when you're through, you can go ahead and close out, click on the X, and what's cool is that it shoves it over to the left-hand side, so when you're ready to go, just come over here and click on it and shoves it back out. But when I want to get rid of it completely, I can come down here on the taskbar and right-click, go up to toolbars, and you see it's already checked. I can just go ahead and left-click on it. It'll uncheck it. It'll get rid of it down here, so when I finally come up here and I click on tools to exit, it'll exit completely. Because see, if I click on the X, it just pops over to the left-hand side again. You can barely see it till I hover over it and click on it again. But I'll go tools to exit, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.